Hey everyone and welcome to the second episode of our speed build series to Prehistoric Kingdom Alpha. Today we are going to build a T-Rex Jurassic Park 2 inspired habitat and this one is going to be a special one. Um, after yesterday's little warm up with the, I said at Montesaurus habitat, it's not like technically one, um, it was just a little test one. Today we are going to tackle this habitat over here and let me tell you that was a stretch like Again, yesterday was a bit of a warm-up, trying to get the tools to know and, you know, just getting a little bit of into the into the flow, so to say. However, um, I think it was time to stretch the muscles a little bit, and that's what we did today. You've seen that potentially from the thumbnail. It's going to be something really cool. I built a the kind of caravan from Jurassic Park 2, where it was actually kicked from uh, the little crest there on top of the little mountain hill, where they were actually um, having the baby T-Rex. And, you know, I mean, I, I guess, you know, 99% of those people who will watch this video potentially have seen this uh, scene from the film, from the movie, um, and I don't even need to tell you too much about it. However, um, first of all, if you guys like the stuff and so on, you know, uh, it helps me a bunch to uh, give the video a like or do comment something down below. That just helps to trigger the algorithm. And if you are not subscribed yet and you like the stuff, um, also in Planet Zoo and other games, then you may consider subscribing. That actually does help loads. But today there's also more news than that. I also have uh, improved my sound setup a little bit. So first of all, I searched for some new music. I just figured after uh, listening to yesterday's video that it it was relaxing, but it also was kind of a little boring. I don't know how you felt about it, but I, you know, I, th I took this music to do some of the screenshot analysis, and I think it's fine for screenshots, but it's, it, it wasn't like um, the the kind of energy I wanted to have for the speed builds. And so I uh, sat down, and actually I did an hour of uh, music research on my uh, copyright free free music is actually not the right term. It's actually my music provider service uh, where I can grab my music from, which is then uh, also licensed for me um, I just sat down and uh, looked for some music it's kind of a mixture of adventurous um, some sims ish background music as well but um, just in general to try to feed into this um, overall concept of adventurous and you know park building I think that's kind of cool um, I love the menu music of uh, this game it's amazing but unfortunately we don't have that much more music quite yet I really do hope that they pull off uh, music like that and like a soundtrack in the future that will be amazing um, because I love it but for now we have to deal with the one I have in the background I really hope you guys enjoy that one um, I think I've seen a couple of seconds ago that I built a bridge over there and this is one thing I want to tackle before we talk about this uh, caravan, which will be like 50% of the build today, we'll be building the caravan. I have to talk a lot about this, but give me a few seconds. So first of all about the bridge. I did test a little bit off screen, uh, what you guys didn't see. So in fact, the people do actually walk over every kind of scenery piece that you put down if they feel the need to go somewhere. So it, it really seems to be very closely connected to um, going to see the animals, um, but they will. They will actually go as close as they possibly can. So not even barriers will stop them, not even rocks will stop them. As long as there is a scenery piece that makes them go somewhere, they will. So you have to, you kind of tackle that in a different way. I will actually improve this a little bit in the next builds. Um, I have an idea how to do it uh, and I guess, you know, we will always need to have like a little gap between the viewing and where the people can walk over. Uh, but the beauty of it is you, you barely even need the path anymore. You just need to path to connect from scenery item to scenery item, so to say. Um, so you can really build like crazy hanging bridges if you want. You can you can build staircases, you can build tunnels, whatever you want. You can, you know, you, your imagination is free. Uh, you can do whatever you want. That's pretty cool. I really do hope that, you know, the performance hit of this game is pretty Pretty significant but again I won't judge it because it is an alpha I just hope that this will be improved in the future so if the devs can pull that off the scaling of items and the freedom of having guests walk over scenery pieces and interact with scenery and isn't you know and making that work on on average rigs oh boy that would be a revolution for this genre let me tell you I you know I'm, I'm really I think these words are justified this would be a revolution for this genre because these two things in combination make it just so much more flexible and you can do so much more crazy stuff than in any other game and I'm not even comparing that to the planet games I'm really comparing that to any kind of other park manager building game also city skylines and so on they all fell into this kind of um, 
a genre, if you will. And I know that City Skylines, for example, it has uh, stuff like the procedural mod, uh, which gives you unlimited creativity of, of at least of the scaling and so on. But it's pretty finicky. It's not like really built into the into the game yet. I don't know. Maybe maybe they will bring it in in the future. But um, at the moment, it's just a kind of a finicky mod. I played around with it a little bit. I love it, but it's just too time consuming and too finicky to be honest. And it's not really something for uh, beginners. Anyways, let's talk about this caravan a bit. So I sat down to really try how good the pieces can work together and we, we really do have a limited amount of pieces in this game as of now. I mean it's an alpha and you just, you know, what do you expect? There are just a couple of textures we have to, you know, uh, play with and we do have a cup, you know, kind of a little choice of different forms and uh, pieces. But uh, due to the scaling feature, and uh, due to the creativity um, that you can use, basically, or utilize um, to play around with the pieces in a 3D environment in any kind of way you want, um, you can actually create some cool stuff. And I wanted to build this caravan um, very closely to the one that is used in Jurassic Park 2. However, I mean, you know, the color-wise, I can't get into the camouflage one because that's just not um, possible. I, I did do some testing uh, with the fonts later on. Unfortunately, the pieces, the font pieces in the game are not flexi-color yet, so um, they will all be in the future. Like, flexi-color is definitely going to be a thing in the future, but it's not in the alpha, unfortunately. Um, so I needed to use pieces that already have the color I wanted, um, in a way that it worked and I struggled a lot here with uh, the tire <clears throat> and the tire is something we have to talk about I found out that the rotation trick as we use it in Planet Zoo it does actually translate one to one into this game as well so you also have to use the grid plus a pillar in the middle to get the rotation right. I have some kind of testing going on here, as you can see. I, I did some testing uh, with a wheel like that, but I, I actually have to say, I succeeded in the end um, with the right piece to make it look really good. This one over here was just a, a failed test. Um, yeah, I don't know, you could use that as a dish, but it's, it's like way too, way too piece consuming and whatnot. So I tried a few things, I left them in, so you can actually see the process of how I approached the, uh, the idea of making the tire work. So you can see I'm, I'm just using a few of those pieces. Um, I found them too shiny, then I tried to use this roof canopy thing. I found this uh, an interesting stru uh, structure here to the side and I, I was trying some things um, to see how the gizmo works. So in most cases the gizmo uh, works pretty well. Not gonna lie, but um, sometimes it's just not as accurate as you can see over here. Um, it has same the same issues as Planet Zoo sometimes, I have to say. It's, it's actually weird. It seems to be um, really a thing about the gizmo. In most cases, it works a lot more reliable, to be honest, but it does have these situations where it's just like all over the place, and I have the feeling that as soon as you have the slightest variation in placement, and it's not grid-based as I do it over here, the gizmo obviously is going to have some issues. And so I decided, you know what, if that's the case, I'm just going to do the same as we always do in Planet Zoo, and I'm gonna use this pillar in the middle as a reference point for the gizmo, and that always works. So as long as you do have this reference point in the middle, always connected to your selection, and you rotate this with it, there's no danger of running into some uh, awkward um, transitions or awkward, uh, awkward transformations. It's always working, so that's pretty neat. Um, and you can see this is now the tire variant I will go with. Um, I used this railing piece in a very, um, in a very uh, pushed together form. Um, as kind of a little rim in the middle, and then I use these uh, I don't know, fooder pieces, like iron fooder pieces, I guess it is, um, as kind of the outside tire. Again, this is obviously, it's, it's just as good as we can go with the pieces in here. It's obviously too shiny, it's obviously too, um, yeah, it's like, it's looking good. From distance, it's looking actually pretty dope, um, not gonna lie, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, but yeah, the closer you get, you will definitely see the different pieces involved and yeah, I mean, the good bit about it is, you know, with all the rescaling and so on, it's really good. One thing I want to mention, though, is, and if the devs are watching, this is something that can be easily tackled, I guess, the um, multi-selection tool is a little bit weird, so I don't know how often I did select pieces that were not even in viewport. I really don't know what it exactly is, but the viewport really did <laughs> do some weird things with me sometimes, so I wanted to just select this tire, which I pushed way for, far away from my building um, in general, and, and still I did select some pieces of the building. I kind of went a little bit crazy after a while because I really didn't know what was going on. 
Um, but eventually I noticed I have to just push it as far away as possible and then I can multi-select pieces. But again, if you don't think about that at the beginning, it's quite hard to push them far away because obviously you can't select them. Huh? Whatever, you know, that's it. So yeah, um, as you can see, like the uh, the basic structure is done of this truck and now I'm I'm really going into making this thing look as it should um, and, and doing some detailing, doing some little work on... Uh, you know, just the little things and obviously saving the game every now and then because I'm getting more and more, uh, <laughs> I don't know, um, I, I, you know, as, as long as the game is not really reliable that you know it's not never gonna crash, uh, you always have this notorious saving uh, just to save the work you've done. Um, but I have to say, I just had one single crash in about eight or nine or ten hours of playing. I don't know how many hours I did already play, but I had one single crash, which is, oh my god, this is absolutely fantastic for an alpha. This is really cool stuff and I tell you, I did not use uh, that less pieces, as you can tell, um, and I did stretch some some boundaries here. So yeah, really, really promising, to be honest. Um, but uh, then again, obviously my rig is not really the one you would have as a reference. So um, I really have to think about that. You know, whenever I will do some recommendations for you guys, I really always have to think about that my rig is not the one to recommend anymore because it's too good for the average computer. Um, for, for the longest time I only had an average rig so that's what, where I'm always coming from but ob obviously this is now something uh, different, different story but uh, nevertheless I think the, the, the fact that it didn't crash still is, is a very good one. And yeah, this is this one over here is special. I I don't know what I exactly did here. I had a <laughs> my I think it was getting too late, and my mind was just having a little bit of a problem here. I was trying something which could have been so much easier, and I will do it so much easier in a couple of seconds. So don't you worry about that. I just forgot to think in a 3D space. I I just used these two pieces, and then and I was doing some weird stuff, and I was like, hey, why didn't I just do it that way? Just you know make it from the beginning already in whatever you know that was stupid that was really stupid and again it's it's you know um i think we can get some really cool shapes in in the future but for the moment i needed to go with a shape that i wasn't 100 percent happy with i know i could have done um the screen also a bit more easy because we even have these round pieces as a glass piece so i could have done the the front screen of the car even better but somehow I like the um, metal elements in it because it kind of uh, resembled the structure a little bit more but yeah so especially these kind of semi-rounded elements in a car like that in the front is very very hard to do when you're just on such a limited um, palette of pieces so I know exactly what I could have done but it would have taken enormous amount of time um, to get the shape in that way there's sort of like some ways of using um, some pieces in the game to create some cool stuff because what I also noticed is with a little trick you can get pieces even smaller scale so some pieces have a limit to scaling so you can scale it at a certain size or a, like you know bigger or smaller but then again there is a limit to it however if you tie in a another piece which is smaller already or bigger already from the uh, from the beginning and you use that piece in combination with the other you can actually scale them uh, smaller and then you can delete those pieces and then just go back and use the smaller piece so it's kind of cool you can get every piece a at least i didn't find a uh I, I did not find a limit yet so you, with a little trick you can get pieces even smaller than they're meant to be becoming i guess um so that's kind of cool and yeah so you can see over here i made the caravan fall over and make this little thing like you know as if it is a really that little bit um from Jurassic Park 2. I mean, obviously, I just completely went creative. You know, this is not exactly the scene. I uh, I did not rebuild the exact crest here or the exact mountain shape, and I did not put as many trees on top there. Um, I just wanted to have this little iconic moment of the fallen over um, caravan that is going down there. You know, that's, that's all I wanted to do. And uh, just giving a little bit of a creative thing in here, that's all. You know, don't expect this to be like a one one to one rebuild. This is a creative habitat as if you would do this as a real zoo scenery, you know, theme park type of thing. I think that's kind of cool and um, not gonna lie, I'm, I'm quite happy with how it turned out to be. Uh, I will do change some things because I figure I will actually make this park now the real thing. I thought it was just a test but these two habitats actually like I like already quite a bit so I will take this park as my 
as my little series over here, which we're going to continue and make um, habitats for all of the dudes in the game. And then um, we will also obviously try some other things and make some little testing of, uh, of how the people can interact with stuff and how animals interact with stuff. Um, one thing I found out though, and I will talk about that in real time part, is what the animals seem to do as an AI. And there's one thing I'm in particular very happy with um, that seems to work. And uh, yeah, by the way, I just used the bench over here, um, ridiculously resized as a roofing. I just like the modern shape of the benches, so I just tried, okay, let's see if we can, if we can build like a shelter out of benches, and well, just, it worked, you know. Um, I think, you know, windows, windows as walls uh, is kind of yesterday, now we have benches as roofs, that's the, that's the new kind of stuff we have. Anyhow, so we move over into the real-time part in a couple of seconds, so I hope you enjoyed the time-lapse, and now let's have a look how that looks in the actual game. Alrighty, here we go, and you can already see Rexy is just uh, standing here on that crest. And you can see now the roar is coming in, I guess, in a few seconds. Um, I actually, I actually did pause to see. Okay, yeah, yeah, it doesn't do it. Um, but you know what I found actually very interesting is that they seem to really have a tendency to go to spots like that and then just uh, do a little roar and then go back. I don't know. They do have like a little show off behavior. This is what I figured is happening. Uh, so you can see I put in another uh, part of the caravan over here and this is the final result of the habitat it's kind of a little bit small so maybe i have to enlarge it in the future um i do have three of them now in here uh, i think where's the where's the third one by the way where's karen karen oh karen is in that corner having a little sneak peek at the guest that will actually come in now yes they will come in by the way this is just um where i had the two modules that i built we can actually have a little closer look to it if you want um so this is this is the scene over here you can see i put another one in down here just to make sure that this looks a little bit more interesting gosh i love that look look look, look at that just like with the oh my boy come on just do the raw now this would be a wonderful screenshot moment come on you can do it you can do it not I mean, we can just keep it here for the moment being. I think I like that as well, you know, from over here, the triumphing, uh, triumphing uh, guy on top. And then uh, we have this broken over little bit with the sunlight in the back. Oh gosh, I love, I love how that looks. It really is cool. I wonder also if they do the raw only if the guests are there just to impress the guests. I don't know. You know, I've, I've got not really had the time to, uh, you know, do some investigation in the animal AI, but um, it really seems like they can interact with the terrain quite nicely, so that's pretty interesting to see. Um, and just overall, uh, it seems they do move quite nicely through the different habitats, which uh, I think is a fairly cool thing to do. And um, I think this caravan over here that has fallen over looks pretty cool. So um, what I just said is I, you know, I tried to make it as, as detailed as it is possibly doable in this build. Um, I made these little lights in front, which were there. I think they were there to impress all the animals or to, to scare them away or something like that. And then we have like all the modules on top. We have these kind of, uh, what was that, speakers or something on the side they had. We do also have the uh, kind of ladder where you can um, climb on top. Um, we have these bumpers in front and, you know, all these kind of little things. We have the railings in front of the windows, try to make it look broken and, you know, um, and then we have the fallen over uh, back side of the truck. This is like the um, the piece from, you know, at the, at the back. I mean, well, that, just forget about that. It's just like as if there's two things that just keep holding them together. Um, and this is how that thing looks. And uh, yeah, the other thing is basically a carbon copy from um, the first one, but just not destroyed. So this is how that looks. Again, the front is not really, you know, the, the front is not really like stellar looking. I think the rest of the truck looks way better than just the front. But uh, again, with the pieces available, um, it, it would go better, not gonna lie. There are chances you can even do better. But um, I, you know, I think for the moment being and for the showcase reasons and just testing what is possible and whatnot, this is the way to go and that looks kind of cool. Um, and again, these rounded shapes are always the hardest thing to do in any game that is grid based or has some grid based uh, items and is not like fully 3D modeling. Um, 
even though there are some ways of improving it, as I said, um, so it, it is possible, but just for the moment I uh, kept it the way it is. But anyhow, as you can see, guests are now coming in, um, looking looking very nice. Oh my god, Rexy is roaring at them through the fence. Yeah, not gonna lie, I think, you know, this is something they should actually invest some time in very early on. Um, the glitching through, especially the barriers, is quite heavy, so um, maybe reducing the traversal area uh, close to the fences would be kind of nice. Um, I, I do like the fact that I seem to be able to go through most of the things and I'm fine with it within the habitat but I'm I'm really I'm really not fine with it like <laughs> in most other places this is by the way what I meant people will not stop they will every kind of scenery will use every kind of scenery piece to get where they want to go and this is actually the closest they can get so they will actually go here uh, you really have to think about that so what you would need to do is like put a fence in in front of here to be honest it's kind of cool because that makes a lot of sense people would do that in real life as well these these naughty people would go there and and do that thing are you going to roar for us now or are you just standing over here because it's so nice you will definitely tip over if you go one one step ahead <laughs> you're better not going to be one step ahead yeah no better don't are you just gonna roar for us come on you can do it oh, i love i love the sound sometimes but <laughs> oh look at that the velociraptor little feet <laughs> oh it's so cool it's so cool. Anyways, I love the build. I think it's really getting um, getting the vibe across that I wanted to achieve. But um, anyways, I think there's not that much more to show. You can see this is a little river thing. We will enlarge that to the to the side here. Um, and I guess the park over here is going to be interesting enough. Um, so what I also wanted to achieve is if you look from over here, uh, you do have that glimpse uh, inside the little lake. And I'm really like, I'm tempted to use the caravan maybe as a centerpiece, as like kind of a little reminiscent uh, thingy. Um, what I will definitely change is, I will definitely change a little bit the, the looks of that area so that we go in and you have a bit of a nicer view to here. There will be habitat on this side. We will have a bit more of a guest area. Um, um, and this will be beautified as well. But I think, you know, overall, this is something that can work. And if we make uh, this viewing experience over here of Rexy even better, um, then we are getting there. And I think, you know, overall, um, this looks kind of cool over here. I'm not gonna lie, with the uh, with the lowered uh, riverbed in there. Oh, there's a the Rexy raw. Look at that. Look at this, guys. That's that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. This is some cool stuff here. Also, I do like the screenshot mode a lot because it does change the lighting so dramatically um, that it makes things look just, um, I, I think, 10 to 20 to 200 times better. Um, I would love the game to look like that all the time. This would actually be pretty cool. So, you know, this, this is like the, the normal, I don't know, 2 p.m. kind of lighting. Um, but I would love to have like... You know, some kind of like that. It's, it's looking a lot cleaner, to be honest. Um, cleaner and, you know, not that many bleeding, light bleeding from the backside. Um, but who am I to judge this, right? This is this is just how it is. Um, but yeah, so I think enough from my talky talk. Can I also change the time? Is, is there a way to to see what time it is, though? Uh, March. Why is it German, by the way? This is wait wait a second. This is all English, right? This I have I've set the game to English. Why is that German? That makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> it's all English, but the the month is German. Is it taking this from the calendar? Because it is March in real life. I, I think it is, right? I have no clue. Anyhow, guys, if you like today's episode, um, I really hope you are going to smash the like button to help this video out, to get out there to the people. I hope they want to see Rexy as well. And um, yeah, if you fancy see more stuff of this, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I would be more than happy to welcome you in the next one, uh, whether it's be Planet Zoo, Planet uh, Coaster, maybe in the future as well, or um, uh, Prehistoric Kingdom. Uh, this would be awesome. And I can't wait to share more with you. And uh, yeah. I hope you guys have a good Sunday. Hope to talk to you soon. Stay safe, everyone, and goodbye.